something a little bit special today. We're out and about with the boys who do freestyle motocross out on the East Rand. Morning, boys. Morning. How's it going? I'm just going to walk you through all of this. Look at this. Interestingly, all on Kawasaki's. What we're going to do is we're going to ask the lads about why that is in a few minutes, and we've told them to tone down on the F-bombs. <laughs> My name is Doug Willis, and I've been riding freestyle for 17 years and been riding for 33 years. But you look like you're only 18. What's that about? That keeps you young, eh? It does. <laughs> I'm Craig Emmerich. I've been riding for 39 years and been jumping for about 13. 13 years, yeah. Love it. Hi, my name's Llewellyn. I've been riding bike for about 16 years and jumping FMX for about 10 years. The streaking hey, soldiers! Back in, yeah. like 15 years ago, Wesley Shaw actually, they started the group. Yeah? yeah. Streaking soldiers. Streaking yeah. soldiers. Yeah. Actually, you're not going to streak here. This is a family jewel. Yeah. <laughs> Some of these might be strippers, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's fantastic. Fun. Excellent stuff. Guys, this is your, your home ground, Aurora on the East Strand. Is that right? Sure. Why Kawasaki? There's a common feature here. Why Kawasaki four-stroke? Well, I started, it was my first four-stroke bike when I moved from two-strokes, which was also a KX250 two-stroke. Uh, it had a nice bottom end. Obviously for the ramps, you need a good bottom end power torque. So when I made the shift to four-stroke, I obviously went to Kawasaki as well in 2013. And I've just stuck by them the whole time. Modifying them is pretty easy. And yeah, uh, maintaining as well. Yeah. Brilliant. So how is freestyle motocross doing in SA? Ah, uh, jeez, it's a bit, bit rough for the um, earning money side of things. Um, there's not many shows, it's like local shows, but we got we got lucky enough to do some um, some traveling and riding over in China and South Korea, and yes, yeah, so we made a bit of bucks out of it. Um, it's a, this show seems to be picking up though with local shows, so hopefully things will head on the up and so up. So you've been jumping a long time. Some of the places where you've been, your biggest shows. Um, biggest show would be probably the way I went and myself and my brother went and done a show in Zambia. Yeah. Um, for the agricultural show. Yeah. And yeah. And the they places. love it, eh? Ah, yeah, they go mad. Blows their minds. It's <laughs> yeah. brilliant. Boys, King of the Whip, quite fantastic this year, wasn't it? It was an epic event. It was like an international event. Yeah. For sure. That's the guys from locally whipped really do host a good thing. How many active jumpers are there in SA? I mean, we saw lots and lots. Of, and, and and what are the clubs up here in Jobu? Um, I don't, they, they, we got the, the East Rand crew. Yeah. That's um, that's pretty much us, the, the Stigian soldiers. Yeah. And then there's also the the Jungle Rush guys. Yeah. They do they do a lot of the shows and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And um, yeah, we pretty but, much. But you oaks are all friendly and you all yes, graft yeah. together, hey? Because because yeah. that's really what it's all about. Yeah. I watch the camaraderie at the show and it's all fist pumps and how's it? Yeah, like it's a, it is. It's a small knit community. To answer you earlier, I'd say there's about 15 to about 18 active freestyle riders that are hitting ramps. I wouldn't say that I'm doing shows, but uh, guys are, cool. are constantly hitting ramps. It's all about getting out there and having a good time. Yes. So, boys, I go and buy a CRF 230. Woohoo! And I want to come and jump. You'll tell me to bugger off. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so give you a bit of a problem. What's a good yeah. starter bike? Sure. I'd, yeah, I'd say. Cowasaki. Yeah. Don't. Oh, so, stop being such Kawasaki <laughs> brand no, no, oaks. Any, yes. Any, any, like any, any yeah. good motocross bike. Yeah. Uh, you could even come in on like a, a 07s, a 06. Two strokes. Two strokes. Yeah. Yes. And you don't yeah. need brand and a one new. Five no, as well. definitely no. not. Little one two fives. I've seen no, one two five. Jim. Was it no, 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 no. Yeah. He's dubbing a king of whip yeah. on, on that. On that one That's brilliant. Hey. Did you did you guys start on one two fives or did you go straight to four strokes? I, I, I rode my YZ one two five for eleven years. Eleven years. Yeah. And just a big jaw. Yeah. And uh, cost involved, boys. What do you need to do? What do you need to modify in order to do this? Obviously, I would say. Suspension, yes. and then I would say you need to replace your spokes because I imagine you go through lots of wheels. Yeah, wheels are a problem. Yeah. Hey, they don't make them strong enough, unfortunately. Yeah. But, um, uh, yeah, suspension and gravels. Yeah, and then it's just basic stuff like seats, seats yeah. shaving, yeah. gravel. Obviously, yeah, every time, seats, every yeah. now and then, when you when you come down, you, you also gotta repair some, repair some stuff. handlebars or your yeah. grips or levers. Well, the idea is not to crash. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure, but yeah, <laughs> best, yeah. you know, it happens. Yeah. Um, and obviously your protective equipment as well, you know, you have to wear knee braces, you know, to take care of your knee and a good helmet as well. Dress for the crash, yes. Yes. not for the ride, that's yes. the important thing. Dress for the slide, not the, not the ride. Absolutely. Boys, should we go jump a bit? For sure. sure. Excellent stuff.
of varying degrees of difficulty, these oaks all hit the big ones. And uh, safe landings, all scraped up. The guys spent time getting them already. Right now, the weeds are a little bit long because of the um, because of all the rain. There you go, jumping across. And of course, the biggest thing to do is make sure you don't crash into your mate in the air. Just so cool. taking photographs, he puts his boots on the handlebars. Mere mortals should not be able to do the things these boys do. It's incredible, big, big air. Get your ass down to a venue like Aurora on a Sunday or a Saturday when you know these guys are jumping. And just come and give them some love. It's, it's incredible, it's a great sport. Spectator vibe is just, look at that. Spectator point of view is just absolutely brilliant. And these guys have got real, real skill. You've heard the amount of time they've been jumping. Doesn't happen overnight. What are we up to? 16. Let's see what a 16 is. Thank you. I know it's hot. Thanks for the time. Absolutely brilliant. You know, I, I must have seen freestyle motocross a hundred thousand times. And you oaks still make me say, hey, wow, that is so cool. How high is that? Do you have any idea? Uh, 10 meters roughly. Is it 10 meters? It looks like about 50 from where we stand. It, it's absolutely brilliant. So boys, people want to get hold of you. People want to know when you're coming to jump. Who do we get hold of? Uh, well, you can hit us up on Facebook. It's Craig Emmerich or Llewellyn from Rensburg, Doug Willis. Otherwise, we're normally here on a Saturday, so pull into Aurora, bring your bike, and Never give Brian. it a go. Have a Brian hit some jumps. Come and have a Brian hit some jumps. Come watch the fun. It's going to be awesome. Aurora on any weekend. That's it. That's it. Thank you, boys. Thank you.